People use yeast every day to make breads and beer, but how does it work? In this experiment, we'll learn a little bit more about it. For this, we'll need three bottles with lids labeled A, B, and C. We'll need three balloons, some sugar, some yeast, a large container of water, a tablespoon, and a sink or a container to work in. First thing you should do is take about two tablespoons of sugar and add it to your water. Give it a good mix. Make sure you get as much sugar dissolved as you can. Then take bottle A and fill it about three quarters full. Then do the same thing to bottle B. We're not going to add any water to bottle C but we'll put a little bit of sugar into it. The next step is to take our yeast and then add a pinch or two to bottle A and some yeast to bottle C. Put the lids on bottle A and B and tighten them securely. So, then give each a good shake to mix everything up. Bottle C, you can just shake up a bit to make sure that your yeast and sugar are well mixed. Now take up each of your bottles and put a balloon over top, making sure that it fits nice and securely over the top of the bottle. Finally, our last balloon on the bottle A. Like so. Now we finished setting everything up. What you should do next is to store your bottles in a warm, sunny place or under a light for an hour or so and observe what happens. I've already done this and I'll show you the bottles that I made up earlier. You see that bottle A, which had water, sugar, and yeast in it, has generated some gas and filled up its balloon. Bottle B, which just had sugar and water, its balloon is empty. And bottle C, which has yeast and sugar but no water, its balloon is also empty. So what has happened here? By combining sugar, yeast, and water, we have started a process called fermentation. Yeast is actually a small creature called a microorganism. And when combined with water and sugar, the yeast eats the sugar and as a byproduct generates gas. This is why in bottle A, which had water, sugar, and yeast, gas was generated and filled up the balloon. Bottle B had sugar and water, but no yeast, and so there was no gas generated. And while bottle C had sugar and yeast, there was no water, and so no gas 
was generated.